Good morning. It is about 525. I'm just getting ready to leave for work. Today we're going back to that patio and all those sidewalks and we are going to pour. Yesterday when we were supposed to pour it rained and it thunderstormed and I had to cancel concrete. So we cleaned up the yard a little bit yesterday and you know just putzed around a little bit. But today it's not supposed to rain but it is supposed to be super hot today and mid to upper 90s the hottest day of the year so far and it's not just the heat i don't know if you can see how it kind of looks misty behind me the air is extremely humid it's hard to breathe already and it's only well it's not even 5 30 in the morning anyways we're gonna drink lots of water it'll be fine can't complain because <laughs> i know it's hotter in other places all right i'm gonna take this trash out i will see you guys at the coffee shop i almost forgot i wanted to say thank you so yesterday I was upstairs in my bedroom and a car pulled up and a delivery guy came out and he delivered two big cases of uh, Diet Dr. Pepper and water. I don't know who did it, nobody left a note, but I just wanted to say thank you. I think that's really cool uh, when somebody does something nice for you and doesn't even want recognition or uh, doesn't even care if you know who they are. Uh, it's pretty kind, so thank you whoever you are. All right, back to the trash. What? Half a bag, you get the day off. Thank you. All right, take care. Yep. Stay cool today. <laughs> yeah, I know, today's gonna be bad. I brought a little cooler today. I haven't brought a cooler to work in ages, but today I'm gonna need it, and I'm drinking only water today. No Diet Dr. Pepper. It's too hot for that. Had to dust this thing off from the garage. Stopping at my Home Depot. It's about six o'clock. I gotta pick up some duct tape and spray glue for bugs. Morning. Good. I'm gonna get a case of this and this may be our last case because Feral Equipment brought us out some new tape. I don't know if I mentioned it or you saw it, but it's real wide. It doesn't have such a aggressive adhesive so it doesn't leave it on the house when you peel it. it doesn't peel the paint off. And Buck said he loves it. So um, I'm gonna call them and get some more of that coming but for now this will hold us over and my spray glue $18 a can ouch $284 man they had no registers open this morning at all self checkout only that's weird just pulled into the yard and bugs is here oh I got some good news on the Mustang I got some good news on the land too. I'll tell you about that in a second. Morning. Yeah, so it was running bad. It was like missing. It sounded like it was missing or breaking up. So like <clears throat> when you were trying to take off because it was missing, it would be like, you couldn't yeah, yeah. get it to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I opened the hood yesterday and you know, we redid, rebuilt the supercharger yeah, or the pro charger. the pro charger. And one of the holes is a vacuum hose. He, he didn't hook it back up. So the clamp was laying there next to it oh and it had, it had fallen off. So I plugged it back in, put the clamp back on, it runs perfect. So that was good. I'll show you on the Mustang why it was running terrible. I saw that yesterday, I was like, yes. Actually, I won't, it's locked. Uh, maybe I have the key. No, nope, I don't have the key. Anyways, that's what was wrong with it. So that's good, and then the, the land, Yesterday I went to Menominee Falls and I met the guy, uh, one of the guys on the planning commission or planning council, whatever they call themselves. I submitted the plans to him and the grading plan from the engineer and they didn't give me any kind of yes or no or anything. That's a, that's a long process, but he took a, an initial look at the plans and he was giving me really good vibes. He said, it looks like, you know, what you're planning on doing here is going to conform uh, with the current zoning and the buildings, uh, you know, steel buildings. He didn't say anything about it. He wasn't like, no, you got to have masonry. They do want some kind of masonry skirt on the side that faces the road. I already knew that. 
uh, the multiple buildings. He didn't say anything about that. So all good news yesterday. He's setting a meeting up for us next week. Um, and it's going to be him and then two of the, the big shots, the decision makers. So that's a, they call that a pre-application meeting. So before you even submit an official application, you got to meet with these guys, talk to them. And I don't even know all the questions they ask, but um, there is one issue on the plans. There's a 30 foot drainage easement in the back of the property, which I don't know if I can build on. So I might have to adjust the plans 30 feet in. Hopefully not. I'm going to try to talk them out of that because it makes no sense whatsoever. But besides that, you know, it's uh, it's positive right now as far as that's concerned. But I'll keep you updated. That's really where we're at. I mean, the land is cleared of all the brush. I can't really do any grading until I know that the grading plans approve. So right now we're on hold until Menominee Falls, uh, you know, lets me at it. We'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure we're 100% ready to go because yesterday... We tidied up the yard a bit, as you can see. Um, I mean, oh, I hung a flag, so that's cool. Got twisted though in the wind yesterday. It's supposed to swivel, but it didn't. America, right there. And uh, we tidied everything up for the most part. It's much better than it was. I don't have to go crazy, really. We did clean the sheds out somewhat to organize, but I don't want to go crazy because we are going to move, and it doesn't make sense to go crazy just right now. We'll go crazy when we move, right, Jade? Jade, you're gonna have all kind of room to run over at the new yard. You'd be running like crazy. Yeah. You tired? You look tired. Oh, I'm sick. Still sick? Hey, chill out. You don't feel good? What's wrong with you? Wrong. You hardly even have a stomach. How can you be sick? <laughs> it's all flat. Once you get a big bubble like this, then you can get really sick. Yesterday, I put that new bowl full together. I'll show you that too. All right, so put this together yesterday. So this is the uh, this is the pro tilt from Superior, and through, through the years, I've seen a whole bunch of whole bunch of different designs and stuff uh, for these. I don't even know what you call these. The swivel heads for the bowl float. Uh, they started out years and years ago. When I started, they had chains. A lot of you guys, old school guys, will remember the chains. They worked. They all work. Uh, this is a newer design here from Superior. And uh, basically, I'll show you. You can take this off. So you put the mounting plate or the adapter on, and then this just slides over it. And uh, you clamp it down with these two knobs, and away you go. And they also have... Uh, vibrating attachment I don't have that and uh, it'll vibrate the bowl float for instance if you're using color hardener or maybe if it's a windy day and you need to bring up more cream it'll vibrate um, there's different designs like the rattle stick I think they have one but uh, the one that superior sells is really nice I'm hoping to get my hands on one of those I thought this was gonna be that but when I opened the box it was just a tilt head um, so we'll give this a roll today and what I like about this just initial thoughts is it's smooth it has an adjustment here so it'll put more tension so it doesn't just you know flop around so that's kind of nice and then also um you know being able to remove this if you have one of the vibrating heads you don't have to keep it on your bow float and beat it up when it gets thrown in the truck you can actually just remove it put your regular head on there and uh, go back and forth so you don't trash it i remember just through the years like the percentage of times that the guys call in sick when it's super hot goes way way up way up oh i'm sick because they don't want to work in the heat well nobody wants to work in the heat but you gotta man up i mean come on man i stopped at the bobcat dealer yesterday bobcat's been in there for two weeks now and they didn't even start working on it i think they assessed what they thought was wrong with it and that was about it so hopefully in another week so glad I bought that new Holland now. It's just irritating when you bring your machine in. It's like a black hole. You bring it in, but you never know when it's coming back out. It's waiting on the other guys. 628. They're all coming now. I would say the three amigos, but everybody would say that I'm racist. Eric's here. That's the three amigos. Okay, I didn't have to say it. 
I would have said it, but somebody would have said I'm a racist for saying amigos. Wow, look at, look at the guns. Popping, Eric. You want one of those? Huh? You want one yeah. of those? You do? Yeah, you don't give me those. You gonna let the guns out too? <laughs> You're gonna have to cool them off today, Eric. Yeah, All right, let's go. It's gonna be hotty hotty. Yeah, very hotty. Ryan, let's go. I gotta figure out concrete. I got a bunch of measurements here. Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. I got an eight o'clock. I need 11 and a half yards. Six and a half bag, low chert air, microfiber, five inch slump, 25 minutes apart. Concrete's ordered. Today's gonna be easy money, right? Yeah. <laughs> These guys are out golfing early. It's seven in the morning. That's pretty early. I don't know what hole they're on, but I never loved golfing real early in the morning, especially in the summer like this. It's, there's so much dew on the grass. Putting was always a nightmare. Everything was wet. <laughs> that guy hit a smack into the tree. He don't care. He's having fun anyway. He's like, at least I ain't working like you guys. I'm gonna give this thing a whirl today. It's got primer on it. This is a small job. This isn't gonna be a, a very good test or anything, but at least I'll be able to see what it feels like and what it's like. Oh, wow. He took down all the forms, everything. Quite a bit of what? I'll put those forms back in five minutes. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna grab some tools and reset all these forms here. The guy put a downspout here. So we had to take that form off, which lined up with the bendable. And then uh, the conduit, he actually fixed it himself, which is good. I don't really feel like fixing it anyway. So he ran new conduit there. He wants us in six inches from where it was too. I'm not sure why. Box tape measure's not feeling healthy. It always happens when I borrow somebody's tape measure, it starts to go when I'm using it, and then they're like, you broke my tape measure. <laughs> Can I help you some? I'm just watching you. Oh, there's other stuff to do. Just think. Just think and you shall think about something. Our what? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's ours for oh, sure. Ours. Yeah. yeah. This is any oh, any tools on the job? They're all ours. Oh, look at concrete. Ray, go load the grill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the shade? Yeah. Hey, we'll put that over the sidewalk when you're finished. <laughs> that's what some of the guys that do the utilities. Yeah, that's what I see. They yeah. have those little tents. Like that. Tent too. Like yeah. They can work in the shade. Yes. That's a good idea. I could have one. Just yeah. a small one. If we got a big one. Uh, yeah. If we got a 20 foot wide, we could put it over the driveways <laughs> yeah, when you guys are finishing. <laughs> yeah. That would be nice. Every job we're uh, taking an hour and a half to set up the tent. <laughs> no, it's all right. They've got to move it. I'll pull it out. Wow. You look, like you're four, you look like you're my age now. <laughs> yeah, more. All right, we are ready to go as much as we can be. That form we got to keep out for the power buggy. We're going to bring it in from the alley, fill that, fill this, fill this, and then from here on we'll come from the front. Very, very easy. That's a first, man. I know, I brought yeah. I brought a cooler. Let's get that on camera. Yeah. Oh, first, first. first time ever. All right. I got a stack, too. Yeah. You ready? Now we gotta what you got? You ready? Good. What you got? Don't look, don't look, don't look. I'm not looking. Oh, help. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I got the peppers Bugs gave me this morning. Don't look, don't look, okay, don't okay. look. I got the tomato. And then look at this. I'm not looking. Pow. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's it. No food? Did I got the tomatoes and the peppers. Oh. Come on, Eric. I'm <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got is the stuff that Bugs brought me this morning. When it hits 95 plus, I bring oh I bring the cooler. This one is hotty hotty. And hey, look at you drinking Coke. Yes, sir. The neighbor called me and said, get your truck out. 
you're in front of the fire hydrant. He's right. I am. I'll move it. Man, there's nowhere to park on this street. That's the thing. I'll turn around and park right there. I hear concrete. I hear concrete. Yep, finally. I hear it. I definitely hear concrete. That first truck, we should be able to empty that thing all in the backyard. And then the second truck will be this sidewalk. It should work out good. It's not super hot just quite yet. I hear him. I hear him. I don't know where he went. I wonder if somebody was taking him down the alley, if Tino was over there or something. I don't know. Yep, I think Tino led him down the alley. All right, concrete's here, Jade. Concrete's here. Are you excited? I am. All right. She's going to be mad because we're starting in the back and she's stuck in the front part. Big Ray's out there. He's ready. We're ready, ready, ready. Ready? Okay. No way, Eric. I was gonna be like, hey, no. <laughs> I told Eric I put two percent, and he believed me. All right, let's see how this is gonna go. Starting off easy. Yeah, I got to build up. Warm up. It works really good for pulling wire. Yes, it does. It feels like only here, and it was angled more this way. But this is a nice handle for this. Try, see what I mean. Yeah. Could just cut this off and use the hook part. That would work really good. Patio's down and bulk loaded. Starting the walks now. I just put a gallon of water in. It's getting stiff pretty quickly. Obviously, it's super hot. To be expected. We gotta get that rebar off the face of the step. It's right on the face. Push it down. That's it for the first truck. I don't know if the second truck's even here yet. If you see the second truck, we can do the rest from the front. Set it down over here for a second. He's bringing you a wheelbarrow. Okay. He should be right behind you. Water? Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, you're welcome. Yep, no problem. It is hot. Hotty, hotty. That's what we say around here. You got the mag vibe? Well, I don't have the vibrating part, but. I got it. That is the pro tilt. I like it. You got the magnetic or the mag vibe? Yeah, the actual unit. The yeah. On top. I like it. Second truck just rolled up in the front. So it was pretty good timing. We weren't really waiting, but a couple minutes. Snap this one too. It's a little wet to cut the joints, but at least I got the line snapped in the patio. I'm only making four sections out of that patio. I'm not gonna go crazy. We got we got plenty of work to do here. Sidewalks are a lot of work, man. It's a lot of edging, lots of joints, lots of finishing. I'd much rather pour big open areas of concrete, like driveways, than stuff like this. I don't do too much stuff like this, and that's why. That's why you don't see too much sidewalk and, and uh, tight areas from us because I just typically don't take them. Tell him to put three gallons. You got part of the first load in there too. Yeah. I 
All right, so far so good. Everything's going pretty good. You guys are gonna have to be really careful. Don't go up over the felt and get all over the wall. Really, really careful. One wheelbarrow. One wheelbarrow. He can't. He can't hear anything. He's got his music cranking. I won't scrape it yet. No, just be wasting your time. We don't know if we got enough. Bring that over there and see where we're at. Right here. Wash is good. It's brand new. All right, concrete's down. I already know this back here is ready for joints for sure. So I'll cut joints and then everybody will come back and start finishing. And uh, if we keep hustling, everything should go fine. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's ready to finish right now. Get the joints in this patio. Yeah, it's, it's ready to finish. For sure. That's not what I needed. That is not what I needed. Bugs, where's your bucket? Where's your bucket of tools? A vice grips. That's all, that's all good there. You don't have to sprinkle anymore. You sprinkle so much concrete in there, it's too much. And then there's a hump, you gotta mag it all down. Hey, start right here where it's hard. First load first, not the wet stuff first. Popping, Eric. Throwing joints in, these guys are finishing. Kind of like all hands on deck, Eric. If you mess around for a few minutes, you can say goodbye. You know what I'm saying? Second load is nice and wet. I'm cutting the joints in early because I want to be able to get back and help in the back where it's harder in just a second. All right, all the joints are in. The first load is just about finished completely. And uh, we got stuff kind of picked up. Not, not out here, obviously, but back there, we've been picking stuff up. Jade's hot, but she's happy. Ray's hot and happy, right? But, but you're still happy is the point. Yeah. Hotty, hotty. Eric, you got the sweet job in the corner though. Eric, that's the deep shade. It's, it's like 55 degrees back there. Hi, Mark. All right. Hey. The boat's in. The boat's ready. <laughs> See, you made my guy's day. Uh, what time you open till today? I'll go with you. All right, we'll be there. All right, sounds good, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ryan, boat's done. Bo hey, give me your keys. Boating it. Boating is on tomorrow. <laughs> no, it's not, dude. Stop with the rain. It's supposed to rain at like three in the morning, and it's supposed to be clear until eight at night. Yeah. But you're such a downer with the weather, man. Always, you are always a downer with the weather. They talk about a ten percent chance at midnight. He's like, it's gonna rain tomorrow. Yeah, man. Stop throwing shade. <laughs> Look at Ray in the shade. <laughs> Ray, Ray lives in there like a little caged animal. Look at him. Ray's overheated like a. Like an old car. Like the radiators fizz in and 
blowing steam and he's on the side of the road in the shade. Why are you so hot, Ray? See, now you're gonna look oh, forward. I don't feel good. I'm losing breath too. Quick. <laughs> you're losing your breath? Yeah, quick. Oh. Both, my, my... Maybe you got what my cat had. What's she had? upper respiratory infection but she was on the floor gagging and coughing up like bubbles she was her eyes were like flooded out just letting you know what you can expect tonight she was gasping for and go by francisco because i can see what's about to happen if you don't that they're going to be scrubbing on the last four or five squares it's going fine they're just going really really slow like they got a lot, a lot of time and they don't realize they don't have a lot of time to mess with it i feel like quitting quitting Concrete's so easy here. How are you gonna quit concrete? Because you got one. Couple squares left. Eric's finishing the step like a professional. All right, Eric. Oh, you never been on the lake? No. Oh, you're gonna like it. <laughs> There's one for sale. It's 2.39 million right now. It's really nice. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I put I put an offer for 50 grand, but I didn't hear nothing back. The taxes on that house are eighty thousand dollars a year. I can't wait to get Big Ray on the tube. You're gonna have a smile. Beard. Oh, your beard isn't be open. You're gonna have a smile from ear to ear. It could be 95 and it feels nice on the lake. I'll be in that water. Oh yeah. Hopefully we don't lose bugs tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> hey bugs, you gotta wear the little floaties on your arms. Yeah, we'll give Eric, Francisco, and Bugs floaties, and then they'll each have a noodle. Wait, you can't. You can't swim out either, can you, Tino? You can? Okay. I was at the Atlanta Aquarium once and they got piranhas there and like a few times a day they feed them. They tell you what time you go watch them. They lower this fish into the water like on a string and the piranhas, they clean the fish down to the skeleton in like 30 seconds. And then all it is there is so creepy. It's just a hanging skeleton and the head. They don't eat the head. It's just the head and then the, the whole skeleton on the body. Like you could just imagine if you went swimming they turn you into a full skeleton. In seconds. Yeah, especially you, all that grease and Coca-Cola. You'd be like, you're like, uh, you're like sweet and salty, Eric. <laughs> They'd be going after you. Oh, I was just gonna call Schmitz and I forgot. All right, call Schmitz. Schmitz, ready to make this jig, I can help you. Hey, this is Ryan from Victory. Do you guys got anything available like at two o'clock, one truck? Anybody calling to quits no. early? No. Are you sure? Oh. Uh, can check again area. I'm sure. What about like, uh, can we get, I got one city sidewalk square to pour in Sussex. I got to get it done. Uh, do you got anything super, super early tomorrow morning? Like six? Uh, no. He's going to talk to the boss and they'll give me the concrete wash. He's going to come back on and say, yeah, we can get it for tomorrow morning. Hey, I uh, can do uh, early tomorrow morning. Like six or is how early is early? You just, yep. Okay. Yep. That's yeah, six or quarter to six. All right, I'll have the truck in there and out of there like in 10 minutes. So you'll have it back really yeah, fast. Good, All right, I'll, one yard. yeah, just one yard. Um, I'll give you, I'll give you the address a little later today. I'll call back because I don't have it on me, but yep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bro. Yep, bye. You got to round this corner, yeah, no, the vertical I gotta, corner. I gotta, I gotta think this off. Okay, it looks good though, Eric. You're making improvements incrementally, really, really incrementally. What's that mean? <laughs> he said, what's that mean? <laughs> You're funny, Eric. I, don't know what it means. <laughs> I mean, it's little by little, like very slowly. You're getting better for real, Eric. Soon you'll get your victory finishing license. Easy money, right, guys? Right, guys? Yes, sir. Not really. Not really. All right, job looks good. 
you can see where that first load hit the second load see the brooms a little bit different texture that'll wear and no it's not a big deal and those are just crumbs on the edge but everything looks good everything's pitched properly eric's starting to rake we gotta go back to the yard we gotta transfer the stuff that's on my truck onto the dually take the trailer off go get some sealer lunch. pressure washer lunch. lunchy lunchy lunch. Well, you need lunch. You're just driving by yourself all the way to Watoma. Eric, tomorrow morning, you're going to have to come here early in the morning. When Bugs is going over to pour that with front Tino or whatever, you're going to have to come over here. Gotta wash that fence. Yeah, dude, the fence, this fence, that got kind of done, but you need to take wet, you know what I mean? A wet rag, wipe around here, go along the whole house, take the plastic down. And we got some slashing under there on the house. Wipe all the concrete splatter off. So you're gonna come here, and then the rest of us are gonna go on the boat. Yo, right. And then I got that sidewalk for you to pour. Live stream, and then I, yeah, right. yeah, Eric, you can watch our I'm live stream. Right there, right away, <laughs> hey, is that Eric on the dock? Do you know how to swim? That's no. Do you think so? No. Like if you fall in with I mean, no life vest? I fell down one time Ryan. and I went to go Ryan. jump in and save it. I think I swim pretty good. Right. Okay. So I just come here. Yeah. Okay. You got concrete at six with Tino. Oh, are you sure you want Tino at six? You're gonna be alone, dude. You should bring him. Tino will be there. <laughs> it's the one where we had the patio in the back. We did two different pours. It was a steep hill. The guys from Ohio came and poured with us in the back. Oh yeah, now I remember it. And then we had a little teeny pad on the side. Yeah, I remember it. Remember? Yeah, we broke one sidewalk square when the concrete trucks were coming for the driveway, which I didn't, I didn't see. The plan is we're going back to the yard, and then uh, Eric and myself are going to go to that patio that we poured last week, that really cool patio, and we're going to wash it. Even though it's super hot, I'm really excited to see what that thing's going to look like. We're going to wash that. I'm going to seal his existing um, garage floor. He cleaned it for us, and uh, I might even easy teak it right away while we're at it. We'll see, but that should be pretty cool. Got it. Ryan and I just stopped over at this electronic store. Yeah, Bought the another CB radio for the dump truck. So now both dump trucks have brand new CBs. As soon as you guys drive under a tree branch and rip the antennas off, they don't work though. That's what happens all the time. I don't know how many antennas I bought. We're back at the yard. We're gonna transfer stuff from this truck to that truck. And Ryan can take this one and go to Watoma and grab the boat. And then me and Eric can go seal. Help us? Alright, you can come help us. Yeah, there you go. You can ride in here. Uh, we're gonna ride in this one. Oh, we need the pressure washer. Go grab the pressure oh. washer. The hose and the wand. We gotta get a few different things. I got the Easy Teak from Proline. Oh. Midnight Gray. Ooh. We're doing it today? Yeah. I thought you said no. Yeah, so we got the five gallon pail. We got everything. We got the Easy Teak. We got the car wash room. Oh, we need a paintbrush for the hey, edges. You know what you got too? Got Francisco. Oh, oh yeah, that's pretty much all we need. I need the barricade sealer. Where'd it go? I got a, I got one full five gallon thing of barricade. Is that it? Yeah, right there, the black one. No, the white one. Well, I need this too. Barricade. I need both of these. Doing two different types of sealer. One for the garage floor, one for the patio. Okay, I need my appointment book because I'm gonna miss two appointments today. Hopefully, I can reschedule them for tomorrow afternoon. We'll only go boating till probably like 1.30 or so. We'll probably only actually boat until 12.30, then have lunch, and then the guy's going to be on their way. All right, adios. Adios. Yep, Bye, Pancho. Hey, 5.30 here. Yeah, I will be here. If you don't show up tomorrow morning, I'll be really mad. I will be here. All right. Hey, Wally, it's Ryan. Yeah. Is there any way we can move it till tomorrow, same time? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's perfect. Yep, sounds good. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Jay's messing up the truck. Yeah, she, she Good is. thing we got that blanket. It, it does stink in here for real. I think I'm just gonna sit in the back right. For real? Yeah. It's clean now, Eric. Yeah. Don't be so picky, Eric. It's just dog hair. Then I have like disease. I no, dog she doesn't have a disease. Okay, I'm gonna make sure we got everything and then send Ryan on his way. Everything is here. The hitch is already on. Got the adapter plug. I gotta give him my credit card, obviously. 500 bucks for a new hub on a boat trailer. That is really expensive. This is for the boat, yes. You're gonna need to pay. You getting a new radio in? Same. 
Okay, here's the car. I had made plans for tomorrow. We got concrete to remove, which isn't gonna happen. We're still gonna pour that piece of sidewalk. We gotta seal that pattern tomorrow. Um, so there's still stuff we need to get done tomorrow somehow. Look at the flag, so beautiful. Man, I can't wait to have my shop. I'm gonna have a massive American flag right in front of my building. I'm talking as big as Menominee Falls will permit me to have. Like one at a car dealership. $25,000 American flag, America. And then every day we come in, we gotta stop and say the Pledge of Allegiance. Yes, sir. All right, we're out of here. Oh, wow, they got it. Same reaction for- They got it. You guys got a maid in here. <laughs> you got your hair cut. Yeah, yeah he did. Nice. Yeah. You don't look homeless. <laughs> you guys don't want to hang out in the air? Oh, we do. <laughs> but we're hungry too. Are you sure you want a double cheeseburger, sir? <laughs> yeah. Do you really need that? Go ahead, go ahead. A double? A double? Yeah. I knew it. Give me a uh, a large chili supreme. Large chili supreme? Yep. And then give me a what's it called? The salad. What's the salad called? The chicken salad. Uh, chicken what? cashew salad. Cashew, thank you. How did you get your food already? Man, how are you special? I'm so stuck here. That's not your burger? No, it is, but they didn't even melt the cheese like really good. Man, are you picky ever? They didn't even melt the cheese Man, really good. I'm not just anybody. Man. Yeah. Oh, wow. Go back in there. Cisco 414 just yeah. thinks he's like a <laughs> prima donna now. All right, Converse was super good. Super good. All right, we just pulled up. No energy. No energy. Eric was sleeping in the truck. No, he's just yeah. No I'm gonna go see if the guy's home. Oh, so the guy told me, the owner here, he told me they pour the driveway. So the builder includes the driveway in the price. Uh -huh. The guy that pours the driveway, <clears throat> I ain't gonna say who it is, but I know who it is. He comes up to the homeowners afterwards and he said, oh, do you want it? He says this to all the homeowners, I'm sure. He's like, oh, did you want your driveway sealed? And the guy was like, what do you mean? It's not included? He's like, no, it's not included, but I can seal it. Thousand bucks. Thousand dollars to seal this driveway. You know it takes 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the material's like maybe yeah. 150 bucks. 150, yeah. So. Probably get the cheap stuff. 20 minutes. Yeah, he probably does get the cheap stuff. That's a lot of money, man. That's a nice little add-on. He puts seven, eight, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars in his pocket. Every, every driveway. driveway. All right, hopefully this guy's home. So we can get into it. Obviously, he cleaned it out for us. All right, it is super clean. Looks good. Is it's it's as clean as it's gonna get. So, and honestly, it's gonna get dirty again anyway. It, exactly, but it'll help prevent like salt damage in the future. Okay. So we're gonna seal this, and I'm gonna wash that once we uh, wash it and easy teak the middle. It's gonna look really nice. And we use our form liners for the steps for the very first time. I'm excited to see all this. This texture is so awesome in the middle of the patio. It's just too bright right now. That's why I told her I would easy teak it. <clears throat> so it'll turn more of a silver. And then it'll have kind of dark gray in all the, you know, impressions, all the veining like this. And then I have three different, three, four different colors in here from really light gray or pretty light gray all the way to really dark release which will turn almost black so this is probably going to be one of my favorite patios that i've ever done to be honest i just like the look of that the hand tool control joints <clears throat> with the texture the only other thing that would have been really awesome i told him he could add it in the future if he does like a nice seat wall with a few pillars around that circle that would be super nice you can go crazy with the walls you could do you know built-in grill and you know tables and all that kind of stuff but this is what he had to work with eric's dumping some sealer for me i'm using the barricade sealer for the garage one coat uh three quarters and then give me a thousand pumps oh that's here still at the bottom eric yeah you hardly put in here brand new and it's leaking right there and i got this tight still leaking it's super tight so this sealer i used once before on camera this barricade and you just saturate the surface one coat that's all they call for and i like one coat so this is going to go pretty quick and easy here it's expensive sealer but 
So you just get the concrete wet just like that. Obviously they got staining and stuff and they don't really care about that. This is more or less to uh, protect the concrete from salt damage. It's a brand new house. Unfortunately, they use zip strips. As you can see, that look just like cracks all over the place. But that's what you get sometimes using a builder with contractors that are cheap, 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 cheap. Man, I love this sealer. It's so nice and thin. It sprays out so nice. And from what I've heard, this is really good stuff. It's kind of nice. I don't have to be like super careful with the drywall because they're not even finished painting it yet. And you can see the concrete guys back there. They slop concrete all over the wall. I'm sure they'll paint it at some point, but not today. And this is some really nice sealer to spray. It just mists on perfectly. There's no streaking, no lines. That's it, garage floor is done. That took like 10 minutes max. I'm gonna go get Francisco started. Pressure washing that. Uh, that, yeah, oh, almost all the way. Leave like three inches at the top. And then spray the rest of this back into the white container. Don't mix these together, whatever you do. All right, just like that. Then we'll come behind you with the acid. And then once, once you finish the circle, just come up here and then wash a border and then you got to wash all this too watch just wash it all that way okay. start here and just start going that way we're going to start acid washing right there man that's drying so fast look how fast that's drying we just did that probably gonna have to work together with francisco and keep it wet while we acid wash it filling up the sprinkling can you can start to see now all the colors in there it's looking pretty cool once i hit it with sealer it's going to leak it look even better go ahead and hit this border all the way to the step start kind of back here though i want to see these steps dude look at the color the color stayed it looks like marble because I just took color and I whipped it onto the surface, but I didn't rub it in. But it was wet enough to suck in the color. Dude, that looks awesome. That looks good. I don't think you're tall enough. How we get sweater nine feet on the house? We had plastic all the way up to here. Somehow we got a little bit of concrete up here. That's crazy. Got it. That looks good, man. Really good. Here, right here. A little bit. Look at that. Look at that one. Woo! Dude, that looks so good. So, so good. The different colors. All right, hit it. Once you're done with this, strip a border, start there and wash the middle all the way out. And then as soon as you're done, we're gonna start putting the color on. I'm gonna mix up a batch of the Easy Teak. And what I'm gonna do is, I haven't really been satisfied with the gray with one scoop per gallon. So we got about four gallons there. So I'm gonna put four scoops and start with that. And then I'm gonna add extra. And I'm gonna put five scoops in. The ones that I've done so far, they just didn't seem to cover quite good enough. So I'm going to add, add another half a scoop. So I put five and a half scoops in there in about four gallons of water or so. I'm going to try that. I think that'll be probably just about right. And this is a special stir stick. Can't find these anywhere. I have these custom made. I'm going to have Francisco just miss the surface. And we gotta blow the joints out so they're not standing water to joints like that. All right, go ahead and blow the joints out. Man, this is drying so fast. 
We're gonna have to do like one square at a time. Yep. We'll do the shade first real quick. Yeah. And then we'll work into the sun. You can't put it on uh you can't put it on dry concrete. That's gonna be our difficulty right now. Alright, here we go. Easy teak. Is this like the third or fourth time we did this, right? Yep. Something like that. how this is turning out the colors are looking super nice the easy peak is so simple to use it's hard to make a mistake honestly you put it on if there's any real dark areas you just take the broom and you swish it around a little bit more let it settle into all the low areas and it looks it looks beautiful last one how long did that take about 30 minutes not here it's not five o'clock nah yeah. it's not five yeah. o'clock like it's not even four <laughs> i got an appointment at five so it better not be five i got an estimate with a very important person what? yes no right on pewaukee lake Ooh. tomorrow we can look at it tomorrow? oh i wonder if they're going to be home tomorrow i could tell them we pull up with the boat eric oh, oh yeah shit. do an estimate from the boat <laughs> We're done, Eric. Put everything away. That is going to look awesome. I know it looks weird now because it's kind of in between drying. But when I hit this with sealer, it's going to look fantastic. I really, really like the Easy Teak for the texture stamp like this. This stuff, I'm still not totally sold on Easy Teak. I kind of like the powder release for the full patterns. Um, it's not that I don't hate, I hate the Easy Teak, but... I really like how the uh, the powder release looks on the on the full pattern stamp steps. You can see they kind of look like marble. It's gonna look so awesome when I hit it with sealer. I love it. I love it. I love when a customer says, "This is my budget. Make me something cool," because um, you know it just gives me the flexibility to do stuff that I know is gonna look really good. Okay, I got one hour to get home and back to Pewaukee Lake, which is gonna be a stretch. We gotta get out of here quick, 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 quick. I probably won't be back till tomorrow afternoon to put the sealer on the patio. It's 100% ready for sealer. Now it just needs to be misted on two coats and it's done. It's gonna look, oh, 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 super good, yeah. Now my calendar just gave me a notification. I actually have two appointments at five o'clock. I have a Zoom meeting and an in-person meeting. One of them's getting canceled. Yeah, yeah, we were gonna come take a look at the patio um, that you were looking to have put in. I was gonna ask you, we have an appointment at five and I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it. However, I was gonna ask you, are you guys gonna be home tomorrow during the day? Because we're actually gonna be on the lake tomorrow. Thank you very much, bye-bye. All right, that worked, that worked. Look at the guy on this side of the street, flexing with the Denali. And look at you, he's like, look at your cab corner, bro. <laughs> right? He parked directly across from okay, you too. All right, all right. <laughs> yours looks so nice, but now that I see his, yours just looks old. Really old. Look at those old rims. Those simulators you got. Those ain't even real. All right, that's it for today. I got appointments uh, five o'clock and six fifteen, and then I have to upload videos. It's gonna be a busy night. But tomorrow's gonna be super fun. I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios. It is seven o'clock and my son got back 
from Watomo with the boat. So we are pretty much ready to go for tomorrow. The boat took a little bit of a beating on the rail when we were up north. We had it docked and we were banging it up a little bit. I'm pretty sure all this is new right here. But <clears throat> that's why I'm glad I have an old boat. It's not really that big of a deal. If I had a brand new expensive wakeboard boat or something, you know, that would make you super upset. We're ready to go for tomorrow. I had an online meeting and then I had an estimate. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go back to the job that we washed and I'm gonna seal it. Tomorrow doesn't look like it's gonna be an option because I have appointments and I can't do it on Saturday because the guy is bringing in topsoil and landscaping on Saturday. So I pretty much have to get it done tonight. So we're gonna head over there and throw two coats on there and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, I'm on the job. I just hope that it's dry as a bone. It should be. It's been several hours. But we'll go take a look. Hopefully. Oh, it all got a little sun. There is just a tiny, tiny bit of moisture. We're looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and seal it. I'm going to start sealing this area here. I'm going to grab the blower, let the blower run on that joint while I'm sealing for just a few minutes. That'll dry that up pretty quick. And uh, then we'll be able to get this thing <laughs> This is looking super nice. What I'm sealing now, when the sealer dries, the uh, the silver color will turn lighter again, kind of like it is next to it. It looks a little funny with the sealer on there, but that'll whiten out more, kind of get silver color. But I'm really, really happy with this patio. This is definitely one of my favorites of all time. One of the favorites. We've done a lot of really nice patios. All right, that's one can full. So that was about three and a half gallons. It's one thing about this uh, stamp shield is you go through a lot of sealer. I should really come back tomorrow once everything's dry and this lightens back up to a silver and take some pictures. The sun angle's getting to be not so great for pictures right now. The best for pictures is cloudy conditions. Hopefully if I have time, I'm gonna stop back here tomorrow and snap a few pictures after we go boating because it does look a little weird, the color in the center right now with wet sealer. There it is. Man, it's gorgeous. All right, thank you, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for the work. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. It should, should last a long time for you. Yeah, I hope so. At least two to three years for sure. <laughs> Beyond that, I have no guarantees. But yeah. All right, see ya. See ya, take care. Yep, all right. This is goodbye to this patio. That's everything. I just wanna stay here and stare, honestly. There, it's starting to turn gray again a little bit. I don't know if you can see, it's starting to turn silver again. Still a little bit green from the sealer, but it's gonna turn that nice silver color. All right, I'm gonna stop talking about this patio. I love it, that's why I keep talking about it. I'm gonna do more of these texture with the tool joints. I'm gonna start selling more and more of these because I know for sure when people see this, they're gonna want it. I want it at my house. All right, it is uh, 10 to eight. So I'm gonna go home and upload a video while well, watch a video that Autumn edited, which is an hour long, and then upload that so you guys got something to watch for tomorrow. All right, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, there's gonna be some fear. There's gonna be some laughter. We're just gonna have a great time. I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios.